Hello and welcome to day two of the Irish Nurses and Midwife Organisation Annual Delegate Conference for 2010. This is taking place on Thursday the 6th of May. Today we had a tremendous, busy, dynamic day at conference where over 300 delegates contributed brilliantly to many debates. Perhaps the keynote and central debate today was a two-hour discussion with regard to the Croke Park proposals and our alternative vision for what is now required for the Irish Public Health Service. The debate had three parts. One was a very detailed all, presentation uh, by my colleague Dave Hughes, our Deputy General Secretary, as to what are the, co the content of the Crow Park proposals and why we have difficulties with them and why they contradict our policies, our views about what's required for a public health service safe for patients. The second part of the debate was a presentation about the INMO's alternative vision for our public health service, which would place the patient at the centre and which would certainly require changed roles for nurses, midwives, doctors, other health professionals, but it would empower those clinicians with budgetary accountability to deliver responsive, safe uh, care to the patients, either in the home or in the community or in the continuing care and acute care facilities offered by the state. The third part of the debate saw tremendous contributions from a number of delegates from all over the country who gave their uh, examples of what their problems are like based upon the staffing restrictions, the recruitment moratorium, the impact of those upon patient care, safe care, the quality of care. Excellent contributions which laid out vividly the impact upon patients and how it's simply wrong what's happening now and how it has to be stopped and how the Croke Park proposals would require us to accept a continuation of that with a further loss of frontline posts which is totally unacceptable to us. At the end of the debate the delegates unanimously endorsed the Executive Council recommend recommendation that all members should vote no to the Croke Park proposals and support our alternative vision. But also in doing that we essentially said vote no to the proposals, support the alternative vision and a no vote will not mean industrial action because this is not a time for conflict but it is not a time either to neglect patients. We have to refocus and reorientate, get value for money but the patient comes first, second and third. So that was the message coming out of a tremendous debate this morning. We then had a contribution from health author and analyst Sarah Burke who again spoke excellently about the three-tiered system that exists in this country and the need, the history of the road that's been travelled by the Irish healthcare system from the health strategy in 2001 up to the current day. And at the end of her excellent contribution, she definitely challenged the INMO to continue our campaign as patient advocates and to continue our campaign for a single-tiered system where your needs and your health needs only determine your speed of access to care, where money cannot buy you essential health care. And she challenged the organisation to continue on that uh, journey, seeking universal health care as being the funding mechanism uh, for the Irish Health Service in the future. Later in the day, we had very important uh, motions, an emergency motion from our Dublin North Area branch on behalf of our members in Beaumont Hospital, where they're now facing this, this back to the future uh, uh, problem of extra beds on wards throughout the hospital. That policy failed in the 80s and the early 90s, but yet health service management are trying it again, thereby compromising the care of patients, all patients on wards, losing their dignity, losing their privacy, enhancing the risk of cross-infection. But despite all of those self-evident realities, we're now having to, to confront extra beds on the wards in Beaumont and the conference unanimously endorsed the support of our members to take industrial action in that hospital to defend patients yet again and at the same time challenge all of the health service management to deal with emergency department overcrowding once and for all. Later in the day, we had other motions ranging from the cost of third level fees for nurses right up to the role of HICWA, right through to the whole question of uh, the role of centres of nurse and midwifery education and how they need to be empowered with budgetary accountability to ensure that redeployed uh, nurses have proper orientation and so on. Tremendous, dynamic, uh, eight hours of debate. Heavy day, but I think a day that was thoroughly enjoyed by all of our 300 delegates. Tomorrow is another day, day three and the last day of conference and the Minister is attending tomorrow at 12 midday. Our President will be giving her reply and obviously that will be very interesting to see whether the Minister is listening and is hearing the message that the INMO and indeed all 
interested people in the public health service are sending out that the government policy is mistaken, the, govern the moratorium, the staffing embargo is harming patients, is harming services. So yes, a very busy day here and day two of INMO conference, but one at the same time, which certainly left all here present, uh, further empowered, realising that our campaign to put the patient first is the campaign that matters and we will continue with it until we have it accepted by the department, by the government, by the HSE. It's the only way forward. Tomorrow's another day. Join us tomorrow for a full summary of events and proceedings. Thank you.